Welcome to 11.7c and we are looking at <clears throat> the surface area of pyramids and cones. Pyramids and cones. We just finished up a little while ago uh, in 11.7b surface area of prisms and cylinders and remember how we had to create these nets and we had two bases there therefore our lateral lateral area we wanted this entire uh, rectangle now when we are coming to let's look at pyramids to start out with uh, same concept same concept we always start out with a uh, net and we want to find the surface area of this guy and this is a rectangle but notice now that I do not want the entire <clears throat> uh, rectangle. Nope, I only want half of that. So that's why my equation, it's still the same for surface area equals lateral area plus big base. But my lateral area is just half of this rectangle. I do not want the entire uh, rectangle. We are talking about <clears throat> a pyramid here <clears throat> that comes together into an apex and all of the spaces around that apex are triangles. So that's what's represented here, these triangles inside of this uh, rectangle. So we only want the triangles, therefore our lat lateral area will be one half um, this length here, which is the perimeter. Remember that's the same as it was for your prism, the distance around the big base. But the other thing that the only other thing that changes here with uh, pyramids and also with cones uh, is that this is instead of it being <clears throat> where before what we had uh, this was the height of the prism in this case uh, the uh, distance the length here uh, is the slant height that is the slant height so it is not the height of the pyramid it is not the length of an edge of this pyramid. It is really the height of this triangle. The height of this triangle here, uh, which is a slant height. We call it slant height because at a pyramid, or on a pyramid, it's kind of slanted in. So that's probably the best adjective we can think of for <clears throat> uh, defining this particular uh, height. So therefore, the equation for the uh, lateral uh, area is one half the perimeter around the big base times the slant height. So let me just jump in <clears throat> and give you some examples here. Here they're asking about a square pyramid that has uh, base edges five meters and a slant height of three meters. So draw your uh, surface area net always start out with a, a rectangle and uh, should I make this bigger for you let's go ahead and do that here <clears throat> focus this guy so always start out with a, a rectangle and because this is a pyramid it only has one base so one base in the bottom and this particular uh, pyramid is a square uh, pyramid. Each of the base edges, edges are five meters. So I will let you put in the lengths of these uh, sides here. And notice because it's a pyramid, it only has one base. Therefore, I only want what's inside of the triangles. So in this, uh, this uh, distance here is your slant height. So surface area equals lateral area plus one area of the base. And this uh, lateral area, and I remember because I only want the triangles, I want half of the rectangle. And this length here is the perimeter around the base, right? So you have to add up going around this uh, base. And then you want to multiply that times your slant height. So you know what number to put in there for slant height. And then remember the area of the big base is the base of the base and the height of the base. These two dimensions here are what gets plugged in for that. So go ahead and pause the video, plug in your numbers, and calculate that carefully with your calculator. Number two, <clears throat> look at this guy. This is a regular hexagon. 
And I still do the same thing though. I still have a, a rectangle as my surface area. I start out with a rectangle. Then try to draw somewhat of a <laughs> hexagon down there. And then surface area equals lateral area plus big base, same thing. For my lateral area though, it's the same concept. Uh, one half, because I only want the triangles, uh, times the perimeter. Now that's the perimeter around the perimeter around your regular polygon uh, here, or hexagon. So there's each of these are six uh, feet, and there are six sides around there. So I'll let you do figure out what the perimeter is. And then times, remember this is your slant height coming up here. So times the slant height. Now remember that the area of a regular pentagon, or hexagon in this case, uh, is uh, one half apothem times perimeter. So this length right here, this is your apothem, this uh, nine feet, just looking at the, the base here. And then uh, P is your perimeter. You know what? Okay, that's right. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. Um, uh, P is your perimeter uh, around your um, uh, regular uh, uh, hexagon. Okay, now what I did forget was your slant height. They do not give us a slant height. So let's take this triangle, this right triangle out, put it over the side here, and let's uh, um, uh, label the dimensions. So this is 12, this is 9, that's your apothem is 9. But we need to figure out what your slant height is. So use your Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared, which would be 9 squared plus 12 squared equals the slant height squared. And then solve that for the slant height to be able to plug this into your equation here. Okay, so that should be, an, I know I'm, go, I'm going quickly here, but that should be enough information for you to be able to do that. Go ahead and pause the video to do so. Okay, so on the back side, the bell's about to ring. So on the back side, let's do cones, and cones are very similar. Same concept. In fact, the slant height is easier to visualize. Maybe I should have started out with the slant height of a cone, uh, first of all. But you can see, obviously, that's the height, the slant height of the, of the uh, cone. So same equation. Surface area equals lateral area plus the big base. And for, for our lateral area, we only want half of this rectangle because we only want the triangles in there. And this length of the rectangle, you remember, just like with a cylinder, is the perimeter around a circle. Perimeter around a circle is called a circumference. And the equation for circumference is 2 pi r. And this little height of your rectangle is your slant height uh, of the, the cone. <clears throat> So that's pretty simple. So this guy, <clears throat> I think with uh, with what you see here, that should be sufficient. After you slow down and, and read this yourself, you should just be able to plug in uh, these uh, numbers into the right places. I wouldn't want to point to where you're supposed to point, <laughs> where you're supposed to put them. No, 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 don't put that there. The 28 goes here, right? 28 goes in the slant height. But the rest you can do. But make sure you understand this uh, formula and where we're getting this from. So we want one half, only the, the triangles. This is the circumference around the circle, which is the length of your, your rectangle, and then times the height of the rectangle, which is your, your slant height. And then this is the area of the big base, because the big base is the shape of a circle. Now for number four, so you pause the video, you work through that. Don't don't just give me a number of you guys are doing this. You just give me this stuff. Don't give that to me, man. Pause the video while it's fresh in your mind and think about it. Don't say, oh, I didn't have time. I was gonna do it later. Nah, I, I don't I don't believe that. What you're, what you're telling me, what I think you're saying, what the, how, the way I interpret it, can't I can't uh, judge, I don't know for sure, but the way I interpret that is, Mr. Evans, I just was listening to music, watching television, and I just copied down what I could see on the screen. I used no brain power at all. I'm not gonna give you any credit for no, no brain power. Okay, so please try these problems. Number four, very similar, is my bell. Okay, let's get this done. Very similar 
to what we had just done. So same kind of a, a net here. The radius is seven, we got that. But now they give us the height of this traffic cone. So wait a second, that is not the slant height. That is the, the height of the solid, the height of the cone. So let's do some three-dimensional drawing here. You can see the, uh, the cone. In fact, let me make it bigger for you so you can be able to see it a little more easily. And so let's do your right triangle, right? So that you know the radius, you know the radius is seven. And what they gave you was the height of the, uh, the cone, the height of the solid. So that is 24 inches. So this uh, 24 goes in here for uh, the height and you wanna find the slant height. So use your Pythagorean theorem. R squared plus H squared equals the slant height squared. Okay, once you solve that and you know what the slant height, then you can plug it in do the exact same formula that we are using there. Whew, I think we're done. Okay, may the Lord bless you. And I look forward to seeing you in class.